Hi guys, so what do you mind this one? Titanium, welcome back to Real Macroeconomics and Investing. And I don't want you guys to think that I just pick on uh, certain uh, clowns, you know. I'm an equal opportunity ass kicker, okay. Uh, this guy with fucking real vision, a complete fucking disaster area, okay. Complete fucking disaster. And this video was done uh, back in 2015, okay, January. So it's almost like 2014, right? So he's sitting here telling you how the fucking market is going to be fucked and everything is going to be shit and da 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 and all this bullshit. And this guy's from Goldman Sachs, okay? And everybody's like, oh, you know, oh, fucking Raul Paul, you know, whatever. He knows what he's talking about. His newsletter, I think like the minimum amount for Real Vision to watch a bunch of stupid fucking videos is like, $2,500 or something. It's fucking ridiculous. So, over here, the law of unintended consequences, part one. Yeah, unintended consequences. The market since 2015 has fucking soared. Soared. Okay? But he's sitting here telling you bullshit. All right. Here's the deal now. Here's the deal. Look at him today. Same fucking bullshit. Here we go fucking again. 2019, August 12th, right here. Okay? And you know what he's going to do? He's going to bamboozle you with a bunch of... He's going to uh, put a wall up of, of fucking information and just, you know, throw it right at you. Okay? It's like it's like chart walling. Okay? And he's going to convince you that we are going into a recession. It's coming just around the corner. Inverted yield curve, recession crisis, indicator explored. All right. Okay. Let's listen. Let's let's take a little peek. With uh, quarterly GDP, and you can see how well correlated it is. It's indicating that we've got some weakness to come. Okay, so that's the first interesting point. Then I'd like to put the equity against a number of other indicators that may be forward-looking. And this is where it gets interesting. I'm going to show you a whole series of charts now for you to look at. So this chart is the CAS Freight Shipments Index. You can see how dramatically freight shipments have fallen and how much they're suggesting that the ECRI could fall from here and therefore the uh, GDP as well. Car loadings, a similar way of looking at transportation, it's collapsing. Capital goods orders, these are the big ticket items, the things that a lot of times you use financing for or are involved in the global supply chains, you can see how they are rolling over as well and following ECRI lower. If you believe in this supply chain story and it seems to be bearing itself out in the press almost daily, then you've got to imagine that capital goods orders are going to come lower. But households are also struggling with the, with the rates. So you've seen that in how much car sales have fallen. So car sales have languished and they're expected to go further. Clothing sales have collapsed in recent months as well, which has been an extraordinary move. And restaurant sales as well have been extremely weak. So you're starting to see not only is shipping and moving goods around weak, but you're also seeing a weakness in the consumer and a weakness in business expenditure. Another great global indicator I've looked at. You see this fucking bullshit with this guy? You see this fucking bullshit? This, uh, like... He just threw a whole bunch of fucking charts. So you, you know what these charts are? Month over month, year over year. Okay? And, and all you're seeing, you're, you are focusing here. You're not looking at here, or fucking here, or here, or here. What does that mean? What, what does this chart mean? I have no fucking clue what this chart means. Oh, it's going down. Yeah, year over year, whatever. You can have, okay, a slowing um, growth rate. And you can, and, and if you look at a, at a chart like this, it's going to show negative. Negative, yeah, based on the previous month or the previous three months or whatever the fuck he's got up here because he's not showing you, you know, year over year, month over month, quarter over quarter. He's not showing you that. He's just showing you a fucking chart, okay, trying to tell you what. What is he trying to tell you now? That there's a recession coming? Car sales are 17 million. Car sales are 17 million. But he's telling you, oh, look, you know, it's collapsing and it's expected to go much further down. I mean, 104,000 views, 3,200 fucking likes. This is why people get fucking destroyed. They get fucking crushed because they listen to fucking idiots. 
man, I don't seriously, I don't know how to save you guys. I have no clue. I don't. I don't. You got the Normans of the world. You got the fucking Paul, Pauls of the world. You got the fucking even Logans now of the world. You got the shifts of the world. Everybody's fucking bamboozing you with fucking bullshit. And the market just keeps going fucking up and up and up. And none of these guys are ever held accountable. Nobody holds them accountable. Nobody. He just chart walled your asses. One after the other. Snap, 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 snap snap and all you're seeing is what he wants you to see the latest thing right here okay he's not telling you what kind of chart this is okay and all you and and he is pushing this he's pushing it why because if he scares you you're going to be like oh my god oh my god this is this is bad uh, let me subscribe let me say 98,000 subscribers are you fucking kidding me this guy has not gotten one fucking thing right in what five years i don't know when real vision started not one thing fucking right. Every fucking time, you know, same shit. And everybody runs there. Yeah, this guy's making fucking millions. Being wrong. God. <laughs> you know, who, the one guy is fucking worse than the other. Everybody thinks, you know, oh, I'm going to give you some indicators that are forward looking. Really? Well, fuck, why doesn't the rest of the fucking market know about these uh, indicators? And you're the only one. The only forward-looking indicator is the stock market. Period. 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 It's the stock market. There's no other indicator. Not, nothing that's going to tell you what the future is going to be. If there was, we would all be fucking billionaires. <laughs> I'm going to give you more. Uh, well, let, let, let's listen to this again. It's indicating that we've got some weakness to come. Yeah. Okay, so that's the first. Okay, it's indicating some weakness to come. What? Look where it came from, you fuck. You know, look where it came from, dude. Look where it came from. <laughs> it happened here, happened here, happened here, happened here. So what's different about this one? Nothing. Nothing. There's nothing. When a recession comes, believe me, it's just going to go like this. He's not going to have time to make a video. <laughs> it's going to be way too late. Okay. So let, let's continue listening to this junk. And by the way, okay, here he's telling you it's quarter over quarter on GDP, okay? And then here he's telling you it's year over year. Like, oh, well, it's correlated. You know how many correlated char charts I can make to tell you the opposite? A thousand of them. I, I, I can start picking and choosing information and put it on a chart, and you'll be like, oh, 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 oh. This is not how you invest, guys. <laughs> this is not how you invest. This is garbage. Let's continue. That's an interesting point. Then I'd like to put the equity against a number of other indicators that may be forward-looking. That may be forward-looking. That may be forward. What do you mean, they may be? Uh, anything can be maybe. They're not forward-looking. You cannot fucking predict the future. <laughs> you can't. The, the, the best forecaster is the stock market. Let's continue. And this is where it gets interesting. I'm going to show you a whole yeah. series of charts now for you to look at. So this chart is the CAS Freight Shipments Index. You can see how yeah. dramatically freight shipments mm. have fallen. All and of how this much they're suggesting that matter. the ECRI could fall from here and therefore <laughs> the uh, GDP as well. Car loadings, a similar way of yes. looking at transportation. Yeah. It's this collapsing. Capital goods orders. These are the big ticket items, the things that a lot of times you matter. use financing this for matters. or are involved in the global supply chains. You can see how they are rolling over as well and following ECRI lower. If you believe in this supply chain story and it seems to be bearing itself out in the press. If you believe, if you believe. Okay. So what, what, what does if you believe mean? It means that if you came in here bearish, <laughs> whatever I'm telling you, you're going to believe this is bearish too. He's 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 triggering those fucking things in your head if you believe. Well, if you believe that, you know, things are bad, well, <laughs> based on this information I'm showing you, they are bad. But they're not. They're not. Are going to come lower. But households are also struggling with the with the rates. So you've seen that struggling. how much car sales have fallen. So car sales have languished and they're expected to go further. 
Clothing sales have collapsed in recent months as well, which has been an extraordinary <laughs> move. From. And restaurant sales as well have look been up, extremely weak. So you're starting yeah, to see not from. only is shipping and moving goods around weak, but you're also seeing a weakness in the consumer and a weakness in business expenditure. In the consumer? Did you see the fucking retail sales, my friend, yesterday? Where the fuck is a weakness? Jeez, you know, guys... Go give this guy $2,500. Go subscribe and listen to this garbage. Okay? Um, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, all up to you. Again, if you guys want the real deal, come down real macro. Got to come down. Patreon.com slash real macro economics and investing. Okay? And uh, if you guys wanted to short, you should have shorted when I did. Okay, it's not. I'm not a plumber, but uh, I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Okay, I have no no clue. Sorry. Here's a here's a thing. You should you should have shorted back here. Okay. I'll go long and short, but I'm telling you right now, you guys who believe in this inverted yield curve and this is gonna happen and that's gonna happen, I I think you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be hurt. If you believe in that stuff and you invested in, uh, uh, based on that stupid, uh, oh, recession is coming. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. You guys can come back here and tell me, oh, you know, you're wrong. And I'll be like, yep, I was wrong. But if I'm not, I want you to come back here and be like, damn, you're right. Fair enough? Mm? All right. I'll see you guys soon. Take care.